DRDO, India's premier defense research and development organization, an organization on the cutting edge of defense technology, with a mission to design and develop state-of-the-art defense systems and technologies to provide technological solution to India's defense services. Established in 1958, DRDO started out with just 10 units. Today, its presence encompasses labs engaged in a wide variety of technological disciplines. Solid State Physics Laboratory, SSPL, was founded in 1961 in Delhi. It is one of the premier labs of microelectronics devices cluster of DRDO and at the forefront of research and developments that have contributed not only to defense but also to India's technological advancements on the global arena, providing breakthroughs for advancements in next generation technologies that empower India. SSPL is engaged in the research and development of semiconductor materials and devices. It has now grown into a premier research and development establishment in the field of semiconductor material and devices with expertise in many important areas like gallium arsenide devices and integrated circuit, GAN material and devices, infrared materials and devices, silicon semiconductor devices and micro-electromechanical systems microwave ferrite materials and components, surface acoustic wave, saw devices, nanotechnology, single crystal growth of semiconductor materials and photonics devices. We intend to expand on in all these areas, especially in the area of laser diodes, which we have a great strength, and in the area of gallium nitride and in infrared focal panels. The laboratory has advanced material and device characterization facilities, an active workshop and instrumentation group as a support for its R&D work. This manpower which we have created over the past several years and we have trained them is an asset to the country and they can deliver the products that the nation wants them to deliver. It is the only laboratory in India exclusively devoted to R&D in semiconductor materials and devices. The devices play an important role in today's world and are drivers of the technological growth of a country. Development of advanced solid-state devices needed for strategic defense applications also require development of device quality materials with desired properties and specifications. Indigenous development of some of these advanced solid-state materials has been undertaken at SSPL to achieve self-reliance. These devices, although small, play a very important role in missiles and tanks as they serve as the main sensing elements like eye, ears and nose for many systems. For example, infrared detectors are used in tanks and missiles for guidance imaging a night vision. At present, the main thrust areas at SSPL are development of infrared focal plane array, monolithic microwave integrated circuits, high power GAN transistor, laser diodes and development of MEMS nanotechnology and sensors. This also requires research on development of materials, characterization and device technology. The sophistication and advancements are at par with global developments and in some key areas ahead of what is currently available. A few of these products that have found use not only in military and space applications but also in general commercial areas are telecom devices, phase shifters, remotely activated acoustic warning systems, ROS, micro-electromechanical systems, GAN transistor and SNC band and monolithic microwave integrated circuits MMICs. There are various important devices developed at SSPL.
scientists working at the SSPL have developed astounding and amazing futuristic products at par with global standards, quietly and without fanfare, leading the nation ahead. While the best brains of the country work tirelessly at SSPL, SSPL lab is fitted with the latest and best equipment to facilitate development of advanced semiconductor technologies and solid-state devices technology-based products. The lab is equipped with a central mask making facility with a laser pattern generator capable of fabricating photo mask having one micron feature size. The facility has been used by SSPL as well as other establishments such as GATEC, IRDE, DEAL, OLF, IITs and universities. Development of strategic electronic devices and materials require extensive characterization at each step and to meet this requirement advanced characterization facility has been set up. These sophisticated state-of-the-art in-house facilities provide full freedom to scientists and technologists to work in privacy and in the strictest security as well as safety. The support is provided by all the departments such as admin, finance, stores and security. Apart from having highly experienced and qualified scientists, SSPL also interacts and collaborates with scholars from IITs, IISC Bangalore, leading universities and national laboratories and establishments such as NPL, ISRO, ADA and CEL, DRDO's own labs such as DEAL, IRDE, NASDAQ, CFEs, DRDE, CITAR and MTRDC provide useful support and association in crucial joint research and development activities at SSPL. The stupendous achievements at SSPL stand a testimony to excellence. The most notable achievements SSPL can justifiably be proud of are development of gallium arsenide MMIC technology, focal plane array technology, MAMS-based deformable mirrors, accelerometers, bolometers, RF switches, carbon nanotubes-based cold cathode emitter laser diode arrays, C-band ferrite phase shifter, hydrophones and saw-based electronic nodes. In some cases, these technologies were closely guarded secrets of a select few companies. But SSPL developed these indigenously with their own resources. Achieving milestone after milestone and setting new records and technological breakthroughs in solid-state research, SSPL has received a number of awards. The efforts of SSPL are rewarded with recognition and awards, such as the Titanium Trophy for outstanding performance among science laboratories of DRDO. In future, we wish to deliver devices which will be used in the radars, unmanned aerial vehicles, missiles and in the ammunition which will add strength to our armed forces and they can see at night, fight at night and enhance their night fighting capabilities and also enhance their fighting capability in terms of ammunition and aerial power. Future developments include GAN MMICs and high power GAN transistors infrared devices. Future directives are also on optional MEMS devices, soft sensors, CNT based sensors, blue-green laser diodes for underwater optical communication, terahertz devices and silicon photonics integrated circuits. SSPL has made vital contributions not only to India's defense integrity along its extended borders but has also served as a catalyst for advancements in commercial solid-state technologies in the country. With the kind of manpower that we have, with the human resource that we have, we are confident that we will be able to deliver the devices and make our armed forces and the nation stronger in the years to come. <laughs>